In this video, we'll make an architectural terrain model using the geolocation feature, two extensions, and a solid tool. Click on File, Geolocation, Add Location. And I'm going to look for something in Estes Park, Colorado. Here it is. Zoom in on what you want, click Select Region, and then adjust the pins to hone in on the region. Then click Grab. This brings the terrain into the model. Note that on the layer tray, if I click on Location Terrain, I now get the contours and I can turn off the location snapshot. To add volume to this, click on it. It's a locked group, so right click and unlock, and then download an extension called Enroth Terrain Volume. And this adds volume. I can open the group and even adjust that volume. Here I have a group of a house. That looks a little big. I'm going to scale it down a bit. I'm holding the up arrow to move it more easily up and down. So this is where I want the house to be. And since both of these are solid groups, if I click on Entity Info, you can see this is a solid group and this is a solid group, I can use the solid tools on them. I'm going to use the subtract tool. I'll subtract this from this. And now I have a hole for that floor plan. Next, I want to cut this up into slices that I can send to a CNC machine to make the model. There's an extension called Slicer by TIG that you can get at sketchication.com and then you need to install it manually. So go to Window, Extension Manager, Install Extension, Navigate to it, and there it is. It's installed. So here is the toolbar for it. So again, this is selected. I'll click on this. I'm going to change the spacing to 12 inches. Say OK. And there you have it. I've also got all the pieces laid out in case I want them that way.